What's up everybody, this is Sam from the Gingercast, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Sfax Pure BD Craft for the Tekkit on a Mac. Um, there is like no tutorials on how to do this that I could find, and we are trying to do a Tekkit series in the near future, and I just couldn't find one, and I just discovered how to do it, and I really want to get this out to you guys. Um, so let's get started. Um, if you click on the link in the description, you should pull up this website right here. This is the bdcraft.net where you can download the texture pack for Tekkit and the regular texture pack. If you scroll down here, you will see the um, SMP version for Tekkit and the regular Pure BDCraft texture pack. Um, if you have a kick butt computer, you might want to download the 128, um, but if you have a normal computer, 64 is recommended. Uh, you don't want these two, that will screw you up because that is the older version and that is incorrect. Do not click these. It's it's one of these that you want. So just depending on your computer specs, um, if you have a good amount of RAM, then 120 is fine and 64 for anything that's not. So I'm going to do 64 just because the average computer doesn't have that good amount of RAM. Um, so I'm going to download it here. Okay, so it has downloaded the Tekkit SMP version. So we'll just put that right on the desktop and we'll go back into the website and you're going to get go, <clears throat> you're going to want to download the regular texture pack for this to work. Um, because this is like all the things that have to do with Tekkit, it doesn't actually have to do with the real texture pack. So I'm um, you need to download the same exact resolution as you downloaded here or else it will be different resolutions and it will probably make you crash so you don't want that if you don't know about adfly do not click on any of these you just want to skip add okay so the regular texture pack is downloaded now we'll throw that on the desktop as well and we'll hide safari so the very first thing that you want to do is unzip both of these by you can achieve this by double clicking them or going to open with the archive utility or the un or the archive utility of your choice. Um, so we'll do this for both of them. So this one right here is the Tekkit version. So this is like all the machine and all that stuff, not the actual texture. So you want to open up both of them. And you want to take everything from the Tekkit version and put it into the actual texture pack. So you Come in here, select all of it, and just drag it in here. This is very important. You click apply to all and do not replace. So you click don't replace. Okay? So now that this is in here, you should see three folders: the armor, the GUI, and the terrain. Um, this is this is correct, and all you need to do is open these up and find the matching folder in the texture pack. So we're going to double click on armor first and the IC, IC2 you're going to find the armor here and you're just going to drag and drop into the armor. Now that that's done you're going to do the same thing for GUI. You're going to open it up, select everything, find GUI on here and drag and drop. And we'll do this as well for the terrain. So we're going to find terrain, here's terrain, open it up drag and drop into terrain. Now we are done with this folder and we'll just move that to the trash. So here's our completed texture pack, tech it and everything. Um, to, to get this back into a zip file you cannot just compress the folder. You have to go into the folder and select everything and right click and press press 37 items okay that will make a little zip file and drag that onto your desktop don't need this anymore I'll just go ahead and put it in the trash and you title it what you want so I'll just sfax pure BD tech it okay and we'll just make it green because tech it looks green to me so to get it into your texture pack folder you're going to go to go if you're using the most recent update of Mac I believe it's Lion 
or leopard, you hold the Alt key on your keyboard and that'll bring up this library. So if I deselect it, it goes away and if I hold it down, it pulls up this library. Okay, then you click on application support and then you scroll down to Technic Launcher. And then in Technic Launcher, you want to go to TechIt because this is a TechIt tech um, texture pack and go to the texture pack folder. From there, you want to drag and drop your texture pack that you have created, your, um, your custom texture pack, drop it in the texture pack folder and click out of it. Now you can just fire up Technic Launcher and you should have your texture pack, so we'll just go ahead and do mine. click on texture packs and when you click on this it will pause for a few minutes um, this is just because it is loading everything just like any other high definition texture pack click done it will also pause for a few minutes or a few seconds depending on your computer specs and go into single player I could went ahead and create a new world nothing's really done in it and you should be good so Here's the texture pack, it's very nice, um, all the nice birds, as you can see, things like this work as well, um, so yeah. As you can see, I did all the steps with you from scratch, and if you did, if you followed all the exact steps, then you should achieve getting the TechIt texture pack in your uh, TechIt launcher, Technic launcher, excuse me. Um, so yeah, we are, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you learned how to do it, if it worked, just drop it a like, if not, just post in the comments, um, if you have a question, I probably won't be able to answer, but I'm sure that somebody else will, and, yeah, so what we're doing is we're making a TechIt series in the near future, if not already, and I will put a link to that in the description. You should go check it out. I'm sure that if you're watching this, you're interested in check tech it. And uh, yeah, it should be lots of fun. Not, this is actually my first mod, so can't wait. Gonna be pumped already. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and uh, enjoyed it.